We're living on a planet that's constantly evolving. Mountain ranges are being created and destroyed, volcanoes are spewing out molten lava, and earthquakes are ripping along plate boundaries. And every once in a while, a crack opens up on the surface of our planet. Africa, the place where modern humans arose sometime between 250 and 300,000 years ago, is slowly becoming the birthplace of a brand new ocean. And we're talking about an actual creation of an ocean that began in 2005. That year, a 35-mile-long crack opened up in the Ethiopian desert afar. Now, these things happen all the time. It's just the way our planet is. However, what got people worried is the fact that this crack opened up in a matter of days, and it was as wide as 20 feet at some points. But before we get to the good stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel and tap the bell icon to enable notifications and don't miss our videos. Volcanic eruptions and tectonic plates are never a good combination. To see a certain region of our planet change that much at such a fast rate is nothing short of astonishing. But there is a reason why this happened in the Afar Desert. This region of Africa actually lies on the very border of two tectonic plates that are divergent, which means they are not colliding with each other, but moving in opposite directions. This type of tectonic movement is caused by volcanic eruptions that spew out magma along the tectonic plates. This magma has the power to shift the plates apart, which happens fairly regularly, but not on Earth's surface. It happens at the bottom of the ocean and at depths that are usually unreachable by humans. The eruption that moved the plates It took scientists a while to figure out what exactly happened, but they soon discovered that the cause of the crack was the Dabahu volcano that's located in the Afar Desert. The volcano erupted, releasing 2.5 cubic kilometers of magma and causing the tectonic plates to shift in opposite directions. This shifting of the plates created a 35-mile-long crack, and the amount of magma that did this is equal to about 1 million Olympic-sized swimming pools, except the pools weren't filled with water, but red-hot magma. And that was just the beginning. The movement of the tectonic plates hasn't stopped since the crack opened, mostly due to earthquakes that take place around the area, forcing the magma to the surface. The crack is expanding at a rate of less than one inch per year. Additionally, a new layer is being formed, and it seems to have the same appearance as the crust that already exists at the bottom of the ocean, where such tectonic movement has happened before. According to Cynthia Ebinger, professor of Earth and Environmental Sciences at the University of Rochester, this is not an unusual process. Earth's history is full of similar events, but most of them take place among mid-ocean ridges across our planet. These events usually happen so fast that there is not enough time to mobilize a ship and get a crew to the location. The crack in the Afar Desert is one of the few places on Earth where we're able to see the process in detail, Ebinger says. Slow and steady wins the race. In time, the expansion of the crack will tear the Afar Desert and the Horn of Africa away from the continent. However, this alone won't make a new ocean, but there are many more factors at play here. For example, the 35-mile crack happened in an area known as the Afar Triangle, which is the lowest point in Africa located at 509 feet below sea level. This makes the Afar Triangle a perfect place for the formation of a new ocean. According to the research teams in Afar, the continent is cut off only by about a 65-foot chunk of land in Eritrea. Now, in the grand scheme of things, one inch per year and 65 feet of land are not much. The moment a connection between water and land is established, the new area will submerge everything with water from the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. The crack will eventually give birth not only to a new ocean, but a new continent as well. Nevertheless, this is a process that will take time, so don't go planning your vacation just yet. Professor Ebinger says that according to her team's rough calculations, it will take anywhere between 100,000 and 1 million years before the ocean actually forms, which is a blink of an eye in geographic terms. 